we want to find the value of each point on the logarithmic scale. Looking at the scale of the number line, notice how each tick mark represents a power of 10, which is why this is a log scale, or more specifically, a common log scale. So here the scale is written in exponential form, but as we saw in the previous example, the scale can also be in log form. As we see here, the scale is common log x. So both of these number lines are log scales, but for this example, we're going to be considering the number line where the scale is exponential form. So let's first consider the value of point A. If we let x be equal to the value of point A, notice how x would be equal to 10 raised to the power of negative 3. And to simplify this by hand, we can write this as a fraction with a denominator of 1. If we move this down to the denominator, it would change the sign of the exponent, so we'd have x equals 1 over 10 to the third, which is equal to 1 1,000th. Of course, we can check this on the calculator if we wish. We'd enter 10 raised to the power of negative 3, enter, which gives us the decimal value of 0.001 or 1,000th. To convert to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter. So the value of point A is 1 1,000th. But before we go on to point B, Let's go back to the first exponential equation, x equals 10 raised to the power of negative 3, and write this as an equivalent log equation to emphasize why this is a log scale. So for a quick review, if we have the exponential equation b raised to the power of a equals c, the equivalent log equation is log base b of c equals a, where b is the base, a is the exponent, and c is the number. So the equivalent log equation to x equals 10 raised to the power of negative 3 would be, well first the base is 10, so we know we'd have log base 10. Because the exponent is negative 3, we know the log is going to equal negative 3. And because 10 to the negative 3 equals x, we have log base 10 of x equals negative 3. But because we have log base 10, this is common log, and we can leave off the base 10. So notice how if we take a look at point A, the exponent on 10 is negative 3, which is what common log x is equal to. So looking at the number line, notice how as we move to the right, each tick mark, we pick up a factor of 10, and therefore the exponent, or the common log of x, increases by 1, which again is why this is called a log scale. Now let's consider point B. If we let x be equal to the value of point b, notice how point b is between 10 to the negative 1 and 10 to the 0, and therefore x would be equal to 10 raised to the power of negative 1 half or negative 0 0.5, which we could write as 1 over 10 raised to the power of positive 0 0.5, but let's also get our decimal approximation. And we'll go ahead and just enter 10 raised to the power of negative 0.5, enter. And this will not convert to a nice fraction, so we'll round to four decimal places. This will be approximately 0 0.3162. So this is the value of point B. Let's also write this exponential equation as a log equation. We'd have log base 10, or common log, of x equals negative 0 0.5. So going back to the number line, notice how it's not shown on the scale, but this would be 10 raised to the power of negative 0 0.5, and notice how common log x is equal to negative 0 0.5, which is the exponent here at point B. And now we'll consider point C. If we let x be equal to the value of point C, notice how we'd have x equal 10 to the second, which is equal to 100. And here the equivalent log equation would be the common log of x equals the exponent of 2. And finally for point D, if we let x be equal to the value of point D, Notice how point D is between 10 to the third and 10 to the fourth. 
halfway between three and four would be 3.5, and therefore the value of d would be x equals 10 to the power of 3.5. And here we'll have to get our decimal approximation, so we'll go back to the calculator. We would have 10 raised to the power of 3.5, enter. To four decimal places, we'd have approximately 3,162.2777. which is the approximate value of point D. And finally, one more time, let's write the equivalent log equation. We'd have common log of x equals the exponent of 3.5, which again, if we labeled point D, would be 10 raised to the power of 3.5. So once again, notice how the common log of x equals 3.5, which is the exponent at point D. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.